Oni of Ife shunned some elders who suggested to him that Kwenomi will be made to go through some public rituals to accept the king back the same way he went on the public domain to denounce the king that that is their tradition hello guys welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the juice from the palace of uni of ife please if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe give this video a thumbs up and share my video and thank you for all of this okay so right now they said these elders, some group of elders have risen again, as usual. But I was asking myself when I hear this alleged information, because they are all alleged, alleged. So I was asking myself, I thought they said the king had dissolved that particular council of elders, whose mission is to ensure that Kwenomi did not return back to the palace. You know, there is something that happened recently. That I, I told myself, if only Oni of Ife will be strict for once, uh, certain things will not be happening. I don't know if you watch uh, one of the videos. I made the videos how they say three emissaries from Bini visited the Leife kingdom to come and pay homage to Oni of Ife, saying that their king sent them. Mm -hmm. Then, Afterwards, they find out that Oba of Bidin did not know about that mission. In as much as they are uh, one of the, they are among the council of elders who runs royal functions for the king, but the king never sent them on that errand, you know. And when he found out, he suspended them. And from the look of things. It's like their punishment have not ended from what we have been hearing. They might, they might be subjected to serve more punishment for doing that to the king. Yes. And the reason he did that was such that these people will not uh, do things like that tomorrow. Or they will not gang up against him tomorrow again because it's, a good, it's as good as gang up, you know. And from the look of things, we can't hear say, Ronke of Ileife Kingdom know something about it. But now that the, the king, Oba of Benin have sanctioned these people, suspended them, I'm sure Ronke will go and rest. But if the, the Oba did not do anything, they will continue. And before you know it, they will do something that is worse. That is one thing that only of Ife needs to adopt, you know, in order to last long in this throne. That is my humble advice. If all of this information we have been hearing, it's true, because I'll always remind you that they are all alleged information. So, some time ago, we heard that uh, some elders have decided that if Kinomi must return back to the palace coming June, that she must go through certain rituals, she must come and beg them, kneel down before them, uh, 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 and all of that. And after a series of, before that uh, request from the elders, they said there was a prophecy that they want to subject Quenomi into uh, bowing to their gods, that it is a meeting they have done and they wanted to achieve it by making the king stand with them, that Quenomi will come and apologize, you know? And thank God it has been revealed to the king. He said no to that, and then we are unable to achieve that. Of course, one thing I do know is that Quenomi might not even be able to do it unless she is under their manipulation again. Because right now, they said the king is told these people that why are they behaving as if they don't know that Queen Naomi was under their manipulations when, he went, when she went out to go and denounce the king uh, on, the, on the internet. And besides, that if there's anyone who requires apology from Queen Naomi, that she should be the person. As for the rituals that we are talking about, that before she got married to Queen Naomi, she did a whole lot of rituals, including the ones that she did with her own hands. And when Queen Naomi left the palace of Ilefe Kingdom, that she never for once 
undo any of these rituals. That they stand gidigbam. They are as fresh as the way it was the, the uh, period they did all of that. So anyone trying to say that Ekwenami will have to go through another public ritual to denounce the to accept the king and all of that, that person have another mission. And for that reason, that he is not going to support it. That uh, he doesn't see the reason why they will be uh, 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 talking about when Naomi, when Naomi uh, uh, begging them, doing all of that, that he is the man in question. And they said the others were trying to tell him that uh, that is their tradition. Or what they are doing is just to protect their tradition and all of that tradition. But with all the information we have been hearing, all the alleged information we have been hearing, what to, what uh, Ke have been doing in the palace and everything, have they not tried to protect their uh, uh, tradition? What have they done to her? Hmm? Even when we keep hearing that these women, they bring jazz into the palace, they insulted the king, they do this, they do that. How many of them have they sanctioned or made to come and... Uh, 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 self punishment for what they did, yeah, my people. The only thing is that the king is too linear, he is too soft, he is over soft. That is why things like this keep coming because I don't even see the reason they don't even have any right to meddle in his affair with his wife. But I believe he gave them the opportunity because if not, hmm, oh wow, a whole king. But from what I heard, allegedly, they said, Oni made it clear to them that unless he is no longer Oni Risha, but as long as he still remains the Oni Risha, that none of them can stand in his way of bringing Queen Naomi back to the palace. And Queen Naomi is not answerable to any of them. He married Queen Naomi. They are not the ones that pay Queen Naomi's bride price. It is him who paid Queen Naomi's bride price. He is married to Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi is not married to them, but to him. So that should be his concern. Whether Queen Naomi comes to the public domain to apologize or not, that that is not even necessary. Because they all have offended Queen Naomi so badly. And that is why she left the way she left. If not that the power of God is upon her, they would have pushed her into doing something more bad than what she wrote. They said the king told them they all know that they have offended Queen Naomi. If there's anyone who requires an apology, it's them apologizing to Queen Naomi in a public uh, domain. Anyway, guys, that is the gist to as I hear them, I say now, wow. So these people have started again. Let's just pray and be positive that come June, June is just a uh, uh, few days, a few weeks from now. Let everything be in a normal distance. So guys, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And give this video a thumbs up. Bye for now. Love you guys.